in Esther's closet upstairs is what you're wearing. <laughs> she had it on and wow. took it off. <laughs> now she knows why. <laughs> well, how blessed I am to be here. Wow. Thank you. Thank you to give me the opportunity. What's up? You have changed my life. <laughs> That's the first time I come to see you in person. And, uh, but I've been for a year listening to your free YouTube videos, <laughs> audios, and it's so wonderful, so wonderful. It has truly changed my life. Good. And right now, at this moment, I'm sort of a, on a journey of that is tri r really thrilling me to, uh, I, should I say believe or I know? I want to well, manifest... Well, they're close together. Knowing has less resistance than belief. Oh, okay. Doubt has a lot of resistance. Belief sometimes still has some particles of resistance, but knowing has no resistance. So most people are somewhere there between belief and knowing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's why you're living some more life to sort it out. Yes? Yes, yes. I know that I am in the process of manifesting something huge for yes, me. Yes. And... I would be thrilled to manifest very quickly a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Rare bird that you are. <laughs> and I would like, if there is anything, I would say that most of the day, how could you? become a vibrational match to that experience. In other words, yeah. if thoughts turn to things and if thoughts are represented by feelings and if your inner being is already thinking the thought that has already turned to that thing and when you think the thought that is turning to that thing, you feel wonderful. What kinds of thoughts or statements might you say in order to practice a vibration that will then turn to that thing? Because that's the process. You are on a journey. Those are perfect words. You are on a journey from vibration turning to thought and thoughts turning to things. That is your journey. But it has to be a happy journey along the way. And so if you're focused upon the absence of the 100,000, now those thoughts are turning to things. The same thing over and over and over again. The absence of the $100,000 that you're seeking. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that you might do or say or think or imagine or focus upon or write about that would cause you to practice the feeling place of this kind of prosperity that you're thinking about. What would that feel like? Well, it would. <laughs> First of all, I would laugh <laughs> to see myself manifesting that. Oh, but so that is kind of nice that you're proving to yourself that you can do it. But there's a little resistance in that. What mm -hmm. else? In other uh, words, don't do anything to prove to anyone. Mm -hmm. Just do it because the process is simple and because you know how to do it. Just do it. We want you to express to us, if you can, what the mood of that having already turned to a thing, what's that mood? Exhilarated. Joy. So some of those moods sound a little like surprise. Mm -hmm. Well, you're surprised at something that you're not expecting. So it must feel like the next logical step. It must mm -hmm. feel natural to you. So what kind of prosperity are you already living that you could use to amplify that mood that sets that steady tone that allows you to get in the receptive mode, the receptive mode, the receptive mode, so that you're picking up the right clues along the way for this. <laughs> You're asking me how it would feel that that happens right now, that, that it has happened right now. Really what we're asking you, what we're really getting at is, what do you think it would feel like along the way to that successfully happening? Worth See, it. because most people don't try to think about what they want to be feeling before it happens. They want to wait till it happens and then they want to respond to the happening. That's that conditional response that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We want you to conjure it before the condition. I feel worthy. I feel powerful. I feel all right. Self-love. We get all of that. And so now talk to us about other things that are already manifested in your life that give you those same feelings. Everything. My, my days in the last month has been uh, 
Getting chosen from hundreds of people to come and have a conversation. That's something that you could talk about. But what kinds of things? Talk to us about your blessings. Talk to us about how many thoughts have turned to wonderful things. That's the way you get that vibration going for more and more and more and more and more. Uh -huh. You don't stand in the absence of it. You stand in the presence of it. You don't stand in the missing of it. You stand in the acknowledging of it. So talk to us about your current prosperity. Okay. In the morning... I am filled with beauty. I always look at the sun rising and it really touches me. And it and amplifies it your sense feel... of well-being. It amplifies your sense of being blessed. Yes. That things are working out for you. Yes. What else? Yes. My relationship are, is wonderful. I have a husband that I love very much. I appreciate and... <laughs> Sometimes I'm just amazed to see how much he loves me and allows me and he reflects to me things that I must do for myself too. So that's a really I, steady vibration there. So yeah. is there anything about the 100,000 that is mixed in there that is hindering anything? Are the two of you talking about this $100,000? That $100,000 is for me, uh, allows me to, to ah. go on a trip. Ah. <laughs> by myself because he doesn't want to do it but that's ah. all right <laughs> yes it is all right but maybe there is something there these are the layers of the onion that we're talking about that you peel off a little bit at a time in other words words that say i feel prosperous may be believed by those who hear it but you can do a better job of amplifying your sense of prosperity and that's really all we're talking about here and we're also talking about we like the word journey that you inserted here we want you to feel as happy on your way as you will be when you get there. That's what the unconditional success is about. Because the success of that $100,000 already exists in a vibrational form. If you can tap into that vibrational form success, instead of calling it not here yet, call it here yet, and it feels like this, and it feels like this, and it feels like this, then the next logical step is for ideas to come along the way. And you know... What happens every time is that the impulses, the receptive mode ideas and desires that flash into your mind along the way turn out to be the prize that you think the $100,000 was going to be. It's the process. It's the discovery. It's the co-creation. It's the intertwining. It's the feelings of satisfaction. So often you think that the prize or the goal or what you're trying to create is the money so that you can then do all of those things. No, it's the object of attention that lets you know when you're in sync with it. And oh, the treasures along the way to that treasure. And you know, in the same way that you are explaining to us that you want the $100,000 for the physical journey that it will allow you. Stay with us. This is really important. So you want that money, not for the money, but for the journey this vibrational thought it's not the money either and so we're just going to pause and savor what we're about to present to you so here's the money that you want but you want it for the journey and here's the journey it's the journey before the money and it's the journey after the money it was never about the money it was always about the journey you're sort of following what we're trying to lead you to understanding here that money is about the experiences that you will have along the way there's not going to be something that you do with that hundred thousand dollars that's going to satisfy you in any enormous way it's all of the things that you will see and experience and so once you get the hundred thousand dollars you think the journey will then begin we want you to understand that the journey has begun because you want the hundred thousand dollars oh oh that's why we want to talk about the unconditioned because you don't have to have the hundred thousand dollars for the journey to be already underway and that's why we tell you the story you sifted and sorted and you started the journey and you knew what you didn't want and you knew what you did want and you put it in the vortex and the journey continues and then law of attraction is responding to the vibration that's in there and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and your inner being is focused on it too it's becoming more and more and more and more the journey is underway the good feeling journey is underway your inner being is joyful in the journey that you've set into motion and then all of a sudden you get an idea ah the journey's really underway. You got an idea. You were in the receptive mode and you got an idea. That's part of the journey. That's part of the journey. The $100,000 is only going to be part of the journey. It's only part of the journey. It's not the destination. It's part of the journey. But before the $100,000 is in your bank, there's a vibrational version of it that you're thrilling over 
first. Helpful? Yes. yes. Ooh. Ooh. Such a good understanding. And here, this helps us describe something to you that is good for you to know. So many of you have been holding yourselves hostage, not allowing yourself to be happy until the money's in the bank. But the money can't get in the bank under those conditions. It's got to be a happy journey before the money gets in the bank. That's why you hear from so many who are following their dream, who are following their bliss, who are doing what they want to do, who are following their music desires or are following their philosophical desires. The journey doesn't start when you get the money. And the money isn't the end of the journey either because you never get it done. And that's not very much money. <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> enough yes thank you. really good thank you very much really good <laughs>